Hi, Caillou. Hi, Rosie. Grandpa! Are you ready, Caillou? Caillou's grandpa was taking him on a special outing. Rosie wasn't going, and she was upset at being left behind. <laughs> Mommy, look what Rosie did! Rosie, why did you do that? I wanted to take Teddy with me. I'll put Teddy in the washing machine and get him all nice and clean. I don't want Teddy to go in the washing machine. Come on, Caillou. We're going pumpkin picking. Wow, what a big boy. I hope the pumpkins aren't as heavy as you. Oh, wow! Look at all those pumpkins, Caillou. <laughs> this is a funny pumpkin. Whee! <laughs> that looks like a fun game. Hi there. What's your name? I'm Caillou. Hello, Mrs. James. Caillou's come to pick one of your pumpkins. Oh, good. My pumpkins are quite famous, you know. They are? Oh, yes. I have a special pumpkin album, and kids from everywhere send me pictures of my pumpkins when they've been decorated and made into jack-o'-lanterns. Where do pumpkins come from? They come from these little pumpkin seeds. <gasps> they do? Caillou was amazed that a little seed could grow into something so big. Happy picking, Caillou. Thank you, Mrs. James. Uh, goodbye. Caillou? Caillou, where are you? <laughs> Here I am. I bet you've been having so much fun, you haven't had time to choose the pumpkin you like best. I like that one, that one, that one. Hold on there, Caillou. You can only pick one. I want this one. Uh, it's too heavy. Why don't I carry your pumpkin and you can carry the little one? You can give it to Rosie. Okay. Now that we've emptied Rosie's pumpkin, we can draw the face on it. Caillou! Rosie and I washed Teddy in the sink and made him like new. Thank you, Rosie. I picked a pumpkin for you. I'd say right about here, Caillou. Now, you can punch out all the holes. <laughs> now comes the best part. Oh, oh, look at that. Look. Caillou, Caillou! <laughs> Rosie's right. That pumpkin looks a lot like you, Caillou. Caillou now had a picture of his jack-o'-lanterns to send to Mrs. James for her pumpkin album. Caillou's got rhythm. There is nothing that Caillou liked better than going to the park. First I'm going on the swings, then the slide, then... Thank you, Caillou. That was very nice of you. Music? Caillou had never heard music in the park before and wondered where it was coming from. Look, Grandma. They're playing music. Can we stay? Sure, Caillou. Caillou was having a wonderful time, listening to the music and dancing with Rosie. Yeah! <laughs> I like this song. It is pretty. It reminds me of a song I used to play on the piano. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. But I want to hear them play right now. Huh. How about a story? Grandma could see that Caillou was still thinking about the musicians in the park. 
He really wanted to hear more music. I try? Hmm, I may have to call in the piano tuner. <laughs> Play a song, Grandma. Okay, okay. Now, how does it go? Yes. That's it. liked the music so much that he wanted to join in. Look, Grandma! I'm a drummer! La, 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 la. <laughs> la, la, la. You two obviously love music. How would you like to join my band? <gasps> really? Sure, but you'll need some better instruments. We don't have any. That's easy to fix. You can make your own. Caillou was very interested in what Grandma was doing. He couldn't wait to help. I want to do it. How does it make music? Well, when you shake, it makes a lovely rattling sound. It's called a maraca. Oops. But we probably should put the lid on first. <laughs> Look, Rosie, I'm making music. Me too. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. We are going to make you your very own instrument, Caillou. Caillou was disappointed that he wouldn't be playing the maraca. <laughs> it was so much fun. To play the maraca. Are you sure there isn't another instrument you want to play more? One we saw in the park? I want to play the drum. Now you take the spoons and. I'm the drummer! Don't hit it too hard or you'll break the top. Wow! Now you both have your own instruments. Caillou liked his drum. What a great sound it made. Now, do you know what's the most important thing musicians do when they play together? They listen to what the other is playing. That way, they play together on the beat. <laughs> Listen first. You see how my hand moves up and down? When you see it come down, I want you to clap your hands with me as I snap my fingers. Huh. Um. Now pick up your instruments and play along with me. Don't forget to listen. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Very good. Caillou was very pleased with the music they were making. He thought they sounded just like the musicians in the park. Hi, everybody. How was your day? Caillou was just bursting to tell Mommy how much fun they had. We made our own music. You did? Well, what's that, Rosie? It's a maraca. And this is my drum. Grandma helped us make them. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Listen. Row, row, row your boat. We heard music in the park, and they're playing again tomorrow. Can we go, please? If Grandma doesn't mind taking you, I would love nothing better. Caillou was disappointed that he wasn't going to hear any pretty music in the park today. Aww. Oh, that's too bad. But I think I have something that might cheer you up. Maybe we can give the concert today. Oh, boy! Just follow me. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Wow, roll, 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 roll your, your boat, boat gently down the stream. Caillou just loved singing and playing his drum. This was one of the best days ever. yourself. Hello, is anyone home? Grandpa! Hello, Caillou. Where is everyone? Mommy and Rosie went for a walk, and Daddy is mowing the grass. The garbage truck! Hello, Caillou! Clementine! What's that? I made a present for my dad. It's a birdhouse. I made it all by myself in art class. I can't wait to give it to him. He'll be very happy. Bye, Caillou! I want to make a present for Daddy, too. So, Caillou, what do you want to make? It's okay, Grandpa. I'm going to make it all by myself. Okay, I'll go finish my crossword puzzle in the living room, then. Caillou was frustrated that he couldn't make a present as nice as Clementine's. He wanted to make something special for his daddy. Grandpa! What's wrong, Caillou? I can't do it. I can't make anything nice for daddy. Not like Clementine. I have an idea. Something we can make together. If you'd like to try again. Then you take the piece of paper and fold it in half, and you have... A paper airplane! It doesn't work, Grandpa. Well then, let's try something else. What if we take this nice piece of paper and fold it like this, and this... What is it? It's a finger puppet! Daddy won't like that. I've got it. Try this, Caillou. You fold here, and then here. That's it. A hat! Grandpa, I want to make a big hat for Daddy. Well, we don't seem to have a big enough sheet of paper. I know. We'll use this. <laughs> okay. I couldn't finish the crossword puzzle anyway. I did it, Grandpa. I made a present for Daddy. Caillou? Daddy! Hi, Caillou. Oh, hi, Dad. Look, Daddy, I made you a special present. Aha! Uh -huh. What a great sailboat, Caillou. It's not a sailboat. It's a hat. You don't like it. I love it. It's the best present you ever made. Did you really do this all by yourself? Hold still, I think I just found a word. <laughs> oh, no you don't. Caillou and I are going outside to play pirates. Come on, matey. <laughs> Yo-ho-ho in a bottle of milk. Caillou's big sail. I'm fine. I just dropped the garage sale box. We sure have a lot of stuff to sell this year. Garage sale? Yep, and the whole neighborhood is participating. So I'm getting some stuff together that we don't use anymore to sell. Can I be in the garage sale too, Daddy? I think that's a great idea, Caillou. Why don't you go and see if there are any toys that you don't play with anymore? Caillou had a very hard time deciding which toy he would sell at the garage sale. He liked all of them, even the ones he didn't play with anymore. How's it going, Caillou? I can sell this! Well, I don't think anyone would want to buy something that's broken. But if I sell my toys, I won't have any left to play with. We don't have to sell all of them. Just the ones you don't play with anymore. <laughs> Besides, 
I'm sure there'll be another little boy selling toys he's not playing with anymore. You might want to buy some of them. <gasps> really? Caillou thought that was a great idea. He would sell the toys he didn't want anymore and exchange them for some he did. Caillou was looking forward to the garage sale now. All done, Daddy. You did a great job. Let's take it outside and set up our table. I brought my piggy bank. That's a great idea. You could put money that you make selling your toys into it. When can I buy new toys, Mommy? Well, you really should get rid of some of your old toys first, sweetie. Then you'll have some money to replace them. We'll walk around in a little bit and see what the other kids are selling, okay? <gasps> it works! Like this! Can I have this, Mom? That's a very nice toy. Can Jeffrey buy it from you? No, I don't want to sell it anymore. Are you sure, Caillou? You haven't played with that in a long time and you wanted to sell it earlier. I understand, Caillou. Let us know if you change your mind, okay? Caillou, why are you putting your toys back in the box? I don't want to sell my toys. I've got an idea. Why don't we go for a walk and see what everyone else is selling, okay? <sighs> Hello, Caillou. What's wrong? Caillou doesn't like the garage sale very much. Why are you selling hot dogs, Mr. Hinkle? You can find all sorts of things at a garage sale. Even hot dogs for hungry little boys who need cheering up. Here you go. And this will only cost you a smile. Thank you. You see? A garage sale can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Look, Mommy! The house is outside! You're right. It does look like that. Caillou thought it would be fun to sleep outside. He imagined what it would be like to sleep under the stars. <laughs> That's funny, Mommy. Look at this, Caillou. <laughs> wow! I'll take it. He enjoyed walking around to his neighbors' houses and seeing what they were selling. There was a lot of interesting stuff for sale. What's this for, Mommy? It's an electric can opener. Here, you just push down here and it opens cans automatically. Can I have it? We already have a can opener that works perfectly well. Maybe we could find something that we need. Look! <laughs> I think it's a little big for you. Here, let me try it on for size. <laughs> That's pretty. How about this one? Mommy, look! Ooh, that's a very nice toy, Caillou. Can I have it? Why don't we go and see if Daddy has sold any of our old stuff before we buy something new? Caillou was disappointed that he couldn't have the construction set. I don't want to! But Caillou, this new toy won't even fit in your toy box. Caillou figured that in order for the construction set to fit into his toy box, he would need to get rid of some old toys that he didn't play with anymore. Caillou thought that even if he didn't play with his old toys, maybe someone else would want to. And that way, he would make room for the new. Here, Jeffrey. You can have it. Really? Thank you, Caillou. Jeffrey would love to have your toy. I don't play with it anymore. Maybe you can find something new to play with in exchange. Here you go. Wow! Thank you! Look, Daddy! That's wonderful, Caillou. But I thought you wanted to keep your toys. Not all of them. I have an idea. Why don't we put them back on the table for everyone to see? Mommy, look! I 
mixed with all my toys. That's wonderful, Caillou. You did great. Can we have another garage sale soon? I think we'll have to. Look at all this stuff your mommy bought. <laughs> I think we need to celebrate. Why don't we go out for some ice cream? <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Don't you want any? I think there's something Caillou wants to get first. Am I right, honey? Yay! Caillou was very happy that he sold some of his toys to make room for his new construction set. Honk, honk. Here's another load. Caillou liked playing trucks. The only thing he liked better was playing trucks with a friend. Caillou, there's fresh lemonade inside the truck stop. Yay! Mommy, can you play trucks with me? Maybe later. I have to do some cleaning, and Rosie wants to help. It might take a while. Sweep. Hmm. Sweep. Okay. Sweep. 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 Hmm. <gasps> Hi there, Cricket. Do you like trucks? Caillou was happy to meet a cricket who seemed to like trucks, too. Do you want to play with me? Okay, I have more trucks in my room. I'll show you. Here's my dump truck. And here's a fire truck. Want to ride in the bucket? put you somewhere safe. I know. There. That's better. Oh, I guess you can't play chucks in there. Hey, are you hungry? I'll get you a snack. Caillou wasn't sure what crickets like to eat, so... He took a little of everything. Do you like raisins or cereal? Try an animal cracker. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's not a real lion. Caillou was proud of himself. He thought he was treating his new friend very well. You know, if you like it here, you can stay and live in my room. Sweep! Okay, if you want to. Sweep! 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 sweep. No! Don't sweep that! Oh! Here, do you want a cracker? Cracker! Thank you! Hey, Rosie, why don't you go sweep the kitchen? <gasps> Gilbert, no! Stop! You'll scare him! Whoa! <laughs> Don't go up there! Caillou, did you say something? Wait, Cricket, come back here! Cricket, please come out. There's nothing to be scared of. Caillou.
Caillou? What's going on? I was about to ask the same thing. I lost my cricket. It came inside of my truck and we were playing, but Gilbert scared him and now he's lost in the house. Mommy and Daddy could see that Caillou was very worried. It's okay, Caillou. We'll try to find him. But he's so small and hard to see. That's true. Sometimes crickets are hard to see. That's why the best way to find one is with your ears. What sound does a cricket make? Hmm. Right. We have to listen for that sound and follow it until we find the cricket. Now, shh. Shh. That way! <gasps> He's somewhere here. Good. Now, let's listen and look. <gasps> oh, it's just cereal. Cricket! There he is! Easy. Gotcha! Yay, Daddy! It's a good thing he makes that sound. Do you know how he does it? He takes those two little wings on his back and rubs them together. Oh! I like the sound of crickets. Only not in the house. But I like playing with him. It's fun. I wonder if the cricket thinks being inside is fun. Caillou wasn't sure about that. Um... Crickets like grass and trees, not cats and vacuum cleaners. He looks sad. Maybe I should take him back outside. I think that's a very good idea. Goodbye, Cricket. Bye-bye. <sighs> I guess I'm back to playing trucks by myself. Would it be okay if Rosie and I played too? Yeah, I'll get more trucks. <laughs> Caillou's Cricket was happy to be back where he belonged. Dog Dilemma. Caillou didn't feel like playing hopscotch with Mommy and Rosie. He was waiting for his friend Sarah to get home. <sighs> Yay! Sarah's back! Now she can play! Caillou! Come and meet my new dog! Sarah has a dog! Can we go see? Of course. Doggy! <laughs> yes. Meet the newest <laughs> member of our family. <laughs> His name is Murphy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Doggy nice. Yes, the doggy is very nice. Congratulations. Thanks. It'll be nice to have another family pet. Oh, and it looks like Murphy is eager to check out his new home. I'd better take him inside. Bye, Murphy. Nice meeting you. Do you want to come over and play with me? No, thanks. I want to show Murphy my room. Caillou was a little surprised that Sarah didn't want to play with him. He'd been waiting for her all morning. But maybe we can play together later, okay? Okay. So, who'd like to go to the park today? Me! Can we invite Sarah? Sure. I don't see why not. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to come to the park with us? We can pretend the climber is a sailboat, just like last time. Um, no thanks. Again he was surprised. He couldn't believe Sarah didn't want to go to the park with him. Why not? I'm going to give Murphy a bath. You can stay and help me, if it's okay with your dad. 
Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to stay and give Murphy a bath. He'd been looking forward to his trip to the park. Well, um, okay. I guess it'll be fun. <laughs> Stay still, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy! <laughs> Isn't this great, Caillou? It's fun giving a dog a bath. Yeah, fun. What's that smell? I don't know. Wet dog, I guess. So, how was it bathing Murphy? Wet and smelly. <gasps> <laughs> yes, it looks like you could use a bath now, too. Caillou, it's for you. Hi, Caillou. Do you want to come for a walk with me and my mom? Sure. Caillou loved going for walks with Sarah and her mom. Oh, and Murphy's coming, of course. Do you want to play jump over the cracks with me, Sarah? No, thanks. How about I spy? Uh, uh, maybe later. Heal, Murphy. Heal. <sighs> Sarah, can I walk Murphy? Well, okay, but he pulls a bit. I can handle it. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so sorry. I don't know what got into Murphy. I guess we have a lot more dog training to do. Like this, Caillou. What's that one called? That yoga position is called downward facing dog. Dog? No wonder I don't like it. That'll be Sarah. Sarah's coming over? Yes, didn't I tell you? We've agreed to watch Murphy this evening while Sarah and her family are out. Caillou wasn't very happy with Murphy. He wished he would go away so he and Sarah could play like they used to. Caillou, is everything okay? Not when Murphy is around. <sighs> Sarah never wants to play with me anymore. All she wants to do is play with Murphy. Oh, I see. Why do you think Sarah wants to spend so much time with her dog? I don't know. Maybe because she likes him better than me. Sarah still <laughs> likes you very much. But Murphy is new to their family, and that's very exciting for her. Do you remember when Rosie was born? Even though Rosie was just a baby, all you wanted to do was play with your little sister. Yeah, but Murphy's a lot more drooly and hairy than Rosie. <laughs> That's true, but I'm sure Murphy can be just as much fun. You and Murphy sure look like you're having fun. Murphy's great. We played ball and went for a walk. And I'm even teaching him how to heal. Really? That's great. I can see why you like spending all your time with him. Well, I don't want to spend all my time with Murphy. I want to play with you too. Do you want to come over tomorrow? Sure, we could play catch. And Murphy could play with us too. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it, Murphy? And that's how Caillou learned he could be friends with Sarah and Murphy. The Spy 
bigger issue. Whoa! <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> I know. But if you think the jelly monster's funny, I've got something you'll really like. It's my favorite. Caillou was having fun looking at Daniel's comic collection. Until... Check it out. The mutant spider from cosmic space. It's about a real spider who turns into a mutant spider from cosmic space after getting zapped by a bolt of space lightning. <gasps> Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to hear about a mutant spider from cosmic space. Daniel, do you have any other comment? Then, a space meteor lands on him. Uh-huh. But I don't think and I... And then he gets zapped by more space lightning. He's so lucky. Here, you can borrow it for a while. Uh, that's okay, but... Caillou! Daniel! I'm home! Later, buddy. I gotta go. Did you and Daniel have fun? Uh-huh. <gasps> Caillou tried to tell himself it was just a tiny spider, but he couldn't forget about Daniel's comic. What was that all about? I don't know. I'll go check on him. Feel better now, sweetheart? Uh-huh. Well, now that the storm's over, why don't you play with some of your toys? Okay, Mommy. it was a mutant spider from cosmic space in his toy chest until he realized oh, Augie, it's just you There might be a spider lurking near the sofa. Ah, spider! Gilbert, quit scaring me! Caillou! Look at me! <laughs> Grab your rain boots, Caillou, and come outside! <laughs> Caillou wanted to play. But he was worried he might find a spider in his boot. Or worse, a mutant spider from cosmic space. Uh, sorry, Mommy. I have to, um, do some coloring. I got marker on my hands, Daddy. Well, it's a good thing we bought the washable kind. Come on in and give your hands a scrub. I'll see you when I get back from my run. <gasps> What's the matter, Caillou? Aren't you going to wash your hands? I don't want to. Why not? There's a... a spider in there. It's just a tiny household spider. It isn't anything to be afraid of. How do you know it isn't a mutant spider from cosmic space? A mutant spider? From cosmic space? Yeah, like in Daniel's comic book. 
you do know that comics are just made up stories, right? They aren't real. <gasps> Daddy, no! Come on, little spider. I'll take you outside with me. You come too, Caillou. After you've washed your hands, there's something I want to show you. There's usually spiders around Mommy's plants, and these are perfectly harmless, not to mention interesting. Look, this is what a garden spider looks like. Let's see if we can find one. Aha, here's one. Oh, and look, a Daddy Long Legs spider. Daddy Long Legs? Where? Right over here. His legs aren't that long. Not like the spider in the comic book. No, most real spiders are very tiny. You're much bigger than they are. So what else do you know about spiders? Well, they help protect the plants, they have eight legs, and they make fantastic webs. Wow! A spider made that? That's neat, in a creepy spider kind of way. So what do you think? Not so scary after all, right? No, I guess not. They're nothing like the spider in Daniel's comic book. You mean the mutant spider from Cosmic Space? <laughs> I guess you can't believe everything you read or everything you see. But if you still have that comic, I wouldn't mind taking a peek. Really? Sure. I love comic books. As long as you know they're not real, they can be lots of fun. <laughs> and then our mutant spider got all eight legs stuck in a giant gob of space goo. <laughs> Ew! Hey, keep reading. Caillou was no longer afraid of spiders, even ones from cosmic space. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou was excited because he and his family were going on a trip to the mountains. As soon as I finish the dishes, we have to pack. Then we can leave. Whoa, these suitcases were sure well hidden. Here's your suitcase, Caillou. Caillou was pleased to have his very own suitcase. Only big boys have suitcases. I want to pack my suitcase now. Well, the sooner we pack, the sooner we leave. No, Daddy, I can do it. Uh, uh. Here, these buckles can be tricky. There. Caillou was amazed oh. at the inside of the suitcase. There were all sorts of places to put things. He couldn't wait to put all his things in it. Do we have enough diapers for Rosie? Oh no, I forgot to go to the store. I'll go right away. I won't be gone long. When I get back, I'll help you pack your suitcase, okay? Okay, but hurry up. He couldn't go on vacation without his favorite teddy bear or his favorite dinosaur. Caillou thought he was forgetting something important. But what? Caillou, could you come and get your swimming gear, please? There's no room. Caillou didn't know what to do. He couldn't seem to find a way to get everything to fit in the suitcase. It won't close. Caillou tried with all his might, but he couldn't get the suitcase to close. Something would have to come out. He just couldn't decide what to take out of his suitcase. He wanted to bring all his favorite things on the trip. What are you doing, Caillou? I'm packing my suitcase, but it doesn't work. Well, it sure looks like you put a lot of thought into what you wanted to bring, and that's very important. But I think you packed too many toys. We're only going away for a weekend, so you should only pack what you need. What are you going to wear when we go for a walk in the woods? Mommy helped Caillou pack the things he needed for the trip. And of course, they didn't forget to pack a few of Caillou's favorite things. Mommy, wait! We forgot Teddy! We really need all of that? I'm sure we have more than enough. Mommy says 
says to only pack what you need. <laughs> and she's right. Maybe we don't need this one. Caillou helped Daddy pack the car with just what they needed for their trip. And it was a perfect fit. Try, try again. All week, Caillou had been waiting to go to the beach. And finally, Saturday had arrived. Come on, Caillou. The sooner you've finished your breakfast, the sooner we can get going. Okay, Mommy. Uh-oh. Here, Daddy, can you blow this up? All right. Why don't you grab what you want to bring from your bedroom? I want to wear my new running shoes. Okay. Caillou, are you sure you want to bring all these toys to the beach? Yes, Mommy. Can you tie my shoes? We gotta hurry. You're getting to be such a big boy. How would you like to learn how to tie your own shoes? Okay. Here, I'll show you. First, we put one lace over the other and pull. Then we make a loop, which we call a tree, and this other lace is the rabbit. A rabbit? Really? Sure. He runs around the tree and down his hole. And see, your shoe is tied. Okay, now you try. First, one lace over the other. Mm-hmm. Now make the tree. That's the rabbit. Now, where does he run? It's too hard. Do you want to try it once more? Caillou didn't feel like trying anymore. He preferred to put on his old shoes with the straps. He was very good at putting on those shoes. No, I like my old shoes. Here we go, Rosie. Off to the beach. Here, Daddy. Can you watch Rosie while I put these in the car? That's because you've outgrown those shoes. Here, let's put on the new ones. You know, it's okay you didn't figure out how to tie your shoes the first time. You could try again when you feel like it. I know, Mommy. We're here! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Finally here. <laughs> All right, Rosie, let's get some sunblock on you. I wouldn't want you to get a sunburn. And you're next, Caillou! Ah, a nice relaxing day at the beach. What could be better? Let's play catch, Daddy. Okay. No, wait. I want to fly my kite. That's a great idea, Caillou. No. I want to play baseball. Okay, baseball it is. Whoa! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I fell, Daddy! <laughs> I can see that. Are you okay? Let's play! Hold on, here's why you tripped. Your shoelaces are untied. I can tie my own shoes. Mommy showed me. That's great. Can you show me? Sure. Um, this is the tree, and uh, the rabbit climbs the tree, and then goes around like this. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm, as I remember it, the rabbit runs around the tree and goes down his hole. Why don't you give it another try? Caillou couldn't remember how Mommy showed him to tie his shoe. He wanted his daddy to do it for him. decided to build the biggest sandcastle ever. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy what a big sandcastle he could build. Rosie, do it! And Caillou wanted to show his little sister all about building a big sandcastle. You fill the pail with sand, pat it down, and turn it over. Oh! See? Now you try. 
my Rosie? Uh-huh. <gasps> I'll do it. No! Caillou couldn't understand why Rosie refused his help. He wanted her to listen to him. Ready? Go! It's flying! I don't think there's enough wind right now. Perhaps if we try it again in a little while. No, Mommy. One more time, please. All right. One more time. Go! Go, go! It's flying! It's flying! Look, Mommy! Very good, Caillou. You were right to keep trying. Come on, Rosie. Let's go to the car, okay? Caillou! Time to go! Okay, Daddy! Uh-oh. The rabbit goes around the tree. Uh-oh, someone's dawdling. I'll get him. will be back in a second. Then the rabbit goes down the hole. Hey, Caillou, we've got to get going home. <laughs> My shoe came undone. Why don't you let me tie them and then you can practice in the car? No, Daddy, I want to do it. Okay, how about I help you? The rabbit goes around the tree and down his hole. Okay, now pull. Caillou, I knew you could do it if you just kept trying. Caillou was feeling very proud, even though he couldn't do it all alone. He had finally succeeded in tying his shoe. The New Leaf Where's Grandpa? He'll be here soon, Caillou. Caillou was very impatient for Grandpa to arrive. Today, Grandpa, Caillou, and his daddy were going for a walk in the woods. Grandpa's here! Hi, Caillou! Hi, Grandpa! Ready for our hike in the woods? Daddy! Grandpa's here! Hi, Dad. Would you like a cup of coffee before we go? Come on! <laughs> I don't think we have time. Looks like someone's in a hurry to get going. Caillou didn't know it yet, but this was going to be a very special walk in the woods. Come on, Caillou. When your dad was a little boy, we'd go walking in the woods every fall, just before all the leaves fell to the ground. And then we'd play a little game. What game? Your dad and I would try and catch a falling leaf before it touched the ground. Why? Well, it's a family tradition, Caillou. It's something that you do with your family every year. Are you ready to give it a try? Here, I'll show you. My turn! Caillou thought leaf catching was a great game and looked up at the treetops for another falling leaf. There, Caillou! Nice try! Don't be disappointed, Caillou. Let's try our luck a little further up the path. Oh. Daddy! My boot's stuck! Come on, you two. There's a wind stirring up. Might be plenty of leaves to catch soon. Here they come. Caillou wanted to catch a leaf, too, so he did exactly like Grandpa and Daddy. Whoa! <laughs> Got one! Caillou didn't exactly catch a falling leaf. This game was much harder than he thought it would be. <laughs> Can we try again? Absolutely. We have to keep trying until we catch the perfect leaf. Caillou tried and tried again. He wouldn't stop until he caught a leaf. 
and he wanted it to be the nicest leaf ever. But he was tired, and he thought he would never catch a leaf until... I got one! I got one before it touched the ground! Caillou had caught the most beautiful leaf he had ever seen. I'm proud of you, Caillou. You caught your very first leaf. Let's put it in the scrapbook. I'm going to keep it forever. Can we do it again next year, Daddy? We sure can. It's a tradition, remember? Happy New Year! Caillou and Rosie were having breakfast one morning. And Rosie wanted her tiger to have breakfast, too. Since you're so good at feeding that tiger, why don't you give our big tiger his breakfast as well? Our big tiger? <laughs> Gilbert! Caillou loved feeding Gilbert. Gilbert? I think he went outside. It wasn't Gilbert. It was Sarah's cat, Ollie. Ollie, that's Gilbert's food. That's the second time you've done that this week. Can you take Ollie home, please? And see if you can find Gilbert. Okay. to our house and tried to take Ollie's food. We were bringing him home. Ollie tried to take Gilbert's food. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert? <laughs> Ollie? <gasps> Caillou, this is my cousin Lee Wan. Hello. Hello. Lee Wan's staying with us for Chinese New Year. Caillou huh? had never heard of Chinese New Year's before. It's the year of the tiger. A tiger? We call the New Year the year of the tiger. But there isn't really a tiger. There is a dragon, though. A real dragon? Yes, we're going to see it tomorrow. Would you like to come with us to see the dragon? At first, Caillou wasn't sure if he wanted to see a real dragon. <gasps> yes! Caillou was excited that he was going to see a real dragon with Sarah and Lee Wun. What is it? It's to wish you lots of happiness in the new year. And that one is to wish you a long, long life. Do you want to help me put it up? Mom? Caillou said he wanted to see the dragon tomorrow. Is that right? Would you like to come with us to Chinatown, Caillou? What's that? It's where the dragon lives. I'll give your mommy a call and ask her if it's okay then. Did you clean your room, Sarah? Yes, mommy. We have to clean the whole house from top to bottom for the new year. Why? I don't know. We just do. Did you get a special New Year coin today? Lee Wun felt sorry for Caillou because he didn't get a special New Year coin and asked Sarah if they could give him one. Sure. Caillou had never seen a special New Year coin before. Happy New Year! Shing Shing Hao. It looks 
looks like the ear of two tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about going to Chinatown with your friends, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. Caillou was excited about going with his friends, but he was also a bit nervous about seeing a dragon. He wasn't so sure if he wanted to go anymore. You must be a bit scared about seeing a dragon, so I thought you would like the story about the big, friendly dragon. That was one of Caillou's favorite stories. Once upon a time, there was a big, friendly dragon who lived in a forest. All of his friends would gather around and they would... The next day, Caillou went to Chinatown with his friends for a special New Year's meal. Would you pass me the jayatsi, please? Could you pass them again, please? <laughs> How would you two like some more Tang Yong? Yes! Here it comes. Go ahead, honey. Here are your Jiaozi. <laughs> that was pretty clever, Mom. I thought so, too. You can use your fingers. What's that? That means the dragon's coming! The dragon's coming! The dragon's coming! Wow! Well, you loved seeing the New Year dragon, and he wasn't scared at all because it was a friendly dragon.